It's time for 20 megs of non-stop action with another super hot arcade game for your Super Nintendo. Rejoin the brothers Andy and Terry Bogard with their friend Joe Higashi as they discover that Fatal Fury was just a warm-up. Now they must face the meanest, most dangerous fighters ever assembled since the last time. Choose from among eight fierce opponents from Big Bear the Savage Unmasked Wrestler to Mai Shurian. Shiranu, Shiranu, excuse me, the female beauty with mystical arts of the ninja. Battle through Thailand, Spain, Australia, and many other locations. Feature packed and filled with all the hard hitting action you'd expect from Takara's fighting series. Unique 3D movements enable you to move and fight both in foreground and background in way no other street fighting game can. I think it missed a word. This game rocks with huge, blazing arcade style graphics and faster animation than ever before. The question is. Are you up to a new challenge? It's Fatal Fury 2, developed by SNK, published by Takara, released in April 1994, and it is, of course, part of the Fatal Fury series. And it's another one of them beat em ups originally for the Neo Geo and was ported to several home systems like the Super Nintendo. There you go. Uh, plot. Uh, after Geese Howard's death in the original, a nobleman becomes the new sponsor. This time it's held worldwide. And there you go. Plot. Um, <laughs> we have all the same characters from before, plus some new ones. We have some bosses. Uh, we've got um, home versions all over the place. Neo Geo AES, Neo Geo CD, the Sharp X68000, Genesis, Mega Drive, PC Engine CD, SNES, and Game Boy. The SNES and Genesis versions published by Takara, while the X68000 released only in Japan, was published by Magical Company. All three versions allow you to control four boss characters via their own respective code. PC Engine was published by Hudson Soft and required an arcade card add-on. Uh, Japanese version release, Hori Electric released a special controller called the Fatal Fury 2 Commander, which has the power and superpower moves of all the game's playable characters programmed so they can be triggered with a single button. Well, that's cheating. Uh, it was generally very well received by Western game critics upon its release. GamePro was working on the Neo Geo version and said it was action-packed, Street Fighter tough challenge, great character graphics and animation with slick scrolling backgrounds and fantastic sounds. Reviewing the SNES version, EGM called it one of the better fighting games ported to the SNES and gave it Game of the Month. GamePro gave it a more mixed review, comparing it favorably with its predecessor, but stating that the graphics are inferior to the Neo Geo version, the audio is terrible, and the controls are unreliable, and the gameplay is unbalanced. The magazine recommended that Fatal Fury fans instead hold out for the upcoming SNES port of Fatal Fury Special, which they felt to be far superior, judging by the pre-release version they had seen. I don't love Fatal Fury. We've talked about that before. I think it's fine. Um, I, I don't know. I found this one to be a little more playable than the first one. But, I, you know, we've talked about so many beat-em-ups. Uh, I, I still, nothing's going to top Street Fighter for me. But this is not bad. Not at all.